Diana Denmark here. It is time to get your apron on, get your penny on, get your hands washed, uh, make sure you've got nice clear uh, kitchen decks because we're going to uh, do a little uh, recipe today uh, and, and the recipe is uh, for creamy baked salmon. Now I've, I've, whenever I post that I'm making this on Instagram everybody else says oh can you make a video about it? It's super simple. There are four ingredients and, and salt and pepper. Uh, but it tastes really good. I have to say I was skeptical the first time I tried it. My, my husband made this for us the first time. And I was thinking, how, you know, four ingredients, how can that <laughs> taste good? It tastes fantastic. It's super simple. Uh, and it's something that we quite often have at the weekend, uh, or if I can get it on offer at the supermarket, the salmon, uh, or if we have friends over. Really, really, really simple. So I'll, I'll walk you through the ingredients and, and then I'll start uh, chopping. We're using a, a piece of um, salmon fillet. You, you can either get it whole like this or you know you can get um, individual ones. Uh, the, the salmon that we get in uh, Denmark is usually Norwegian. And as I said, I usually get ours on when it's on offer at the supermarket. And then I can put it in the freezer. I wouldn't freeze salmon for a long time, but a couple of weeks of it is usually okay. Uh, so you've got your, your piece of salmon. And the only other ingredients are uh, some carrots and uh, as usual if, if you want to change out the ingredients and use something else that's fine you may want to check out your fridge and see if there's something that needs using up but this, this is kind of like my husband's classic version of it so we'll go with that today uh, i'll probably use about four uh, carrots some nice danish carrots and some leeks some beautiful uh, fresh danish leeks i'll probably use uh, two of those that they're, they're quite big uh, and make sure you give them a really good wash uh, because leeks often have quite a lot of uh, earth in them. And the, the star of the show, because it's called Creamy Baked Salmon, is cream or piskeflule as it's called in Danish. If you are uh, new to uh, Denmark and you've just moved here, you, you can always spot cream uh, in the dairy product section because everything is colour coded. So the, the very, very light uh, grey and blue is like skimmed milk and red is uh, cream, so that's what we're using. And this has got 38% uh, fat. You could use something that was a bit lighter, but hey-ho, uh, uh, we, we eat fairly healthy and, and it's mainly vegetables. So uh, that plus salt and pepper, no surprise there. And what we're gonna do is we're going to wash the veggies, chop them up and we'll fry them uh, you know, in, in a frying pan or in a wok. I normally use the wok because it's like a lot of veggies so it doesn't uh, spill over. And then we're going to put this uh, in a dish. Let me just grab my dish. Here we are. Uh, an oven proof dish. What you're going to do is you put your veggies in here and then we're going to pour over the cream, all of it. And then we're going to place the salmon on top and then it gets baked. And Bob's your uncle, uh, dinner is soon on the table. Now, you can serve it with whatever you like. Um, I, I, I noticed on Instagram, some people have been, uh, have taken our recipe and maybe used it, uh, served it along with rice or mashed potato. Uh, often we just do um, boiled potatoes. We've got some nice uh, Danish potatoes here. And I always like to cook a lot of potatoes because in Denmark, we eat a lot of, um, you know, smurble, you know, the open sandwiches and, um, and I cooked uh, a boiled potato, a cold one, you know, the next day. It's really good if you slice it up and put it on a, a piece of rye bread uh, with mayonnaise and some crispy onions. Anyway, that's all beside the point. Uh, and, and also when we're finished our dish, you may want to sprinkle a few herbs on the top. Uh, parsley is something that we use in Denmark all the time. Well, lots and lots of parsley. And I often uh, have these ones because uh, we've got Tweet and Sparky the Lovebirds and they love to nibble on parsley. So, so we, we keep a lot of parsley in the house. So anyway, let me um, get chopping these uh, veggies. I, I, I won't uh, film all that because that's just going to be a waste of time. But I'll, I'll uh, chop them up and prepare them and I'll show you the next stage, okay? So I'll be back in a wee minute. Uh, meanwhile, you can go, go and wash your hands. So I've chopped the carrots and I've put those in the frying pan first. Uh, you can use a wee bit of butter, olive oil, whatever you want, or not use anything at all if you've got a really good uh, non-stick pan. And I, I, I always prep the carrots first before I do the leeks because the carrots take a few minutes longer than the leeks to soften up. 
Uh, and also I like, I like to keep my counters uh, clean and the stovetop clean. So usually I put a wee plate uh, and then I can uh, rest you know, my implements on it. So let's leave the, the cats to cook. And I'm going to chop up the leeks. So we're at stage two and I've just popped in the uh, leeks which I've chopped up. I'm just going to turn the heat up a wee bit and give those a quick uh, fry off so, so they soften as well along with the carrots. And then I'll show you them when I'm putting them into uh, the big baking dish. Right, as you can probably hear, the veggies are sizzling away. Uh, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. I, I don't add too much salt and pepper to my veggies. Uh, and actually, when, when I boil potatoes, I never put salt in. I prefer to salt them afterwards, you know, at the table, because everybody's uh, different and we've got to be too much salt. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to add a wee drop of salt and pepper. Here we go. Just a wee drop. Right, what's that? And while I'm just waiting for that to finish off, uh, I, I'll just make sure that they're kind of just softening up. They're, they're going to be in the oven for about 20, 20 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on how thick uh, your sand is, how long that's going to take to cook. So that, that, that's why we're doing the uh, carrots first, because it's a root vegetable, a bit harder. The leeks, they soften up very quickly. Anyway, while the, that finishes uh, softening up, I'm just going to cut the. I don't know if you can see. Let me see. I'm going to cut uh, the salmon into pieces, um, and that way, once I get my veggies in, I can do a quick uh, coop up. You know, I pick up and put away. I like to clean as I go along when I'm cooking. So let me do that, and then I'll show you the next stage. And a wee word about oven temperature. You're going to preheat your oven to 200 degrees uh, Celsius which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and actually, if you don't want to make this dish uh, and cook it right now, what you can do is, say you've got guests coming on a Saturday uh, evening, you can prep it on Saturday morning. And I'll tell you how you would do that. Uh, we've got the veggies ready to go in the dish. Uh, and let me just, hold on, I'll bring the camera closer so I can explain it. You can put your veggies in the dish and then, you know, just keep that in the fridge until uh, your guests arrive. And then what you're going to do is, here comes the best part. Pour over the cream. And listen, if you want to use something that's lighter, go ahead. But uh, you know me, I, li I love butter and all my uh, fatty products. And I actually, I use the whole, I use the whole half litre, but it, it does kind of soak up into the veggies and gives the most delicious sauce and it's just cream uh, and salt and pepper. So that's going to uh, recycling, hold on, just put that there. Please remember and uh, do poopas uh, as you go and you'll pick up and put away. Okay, so let me just pop those onto the table because I'm finished with those. Salt and pepper. Oh, and here my salt and pepper are the, the ones that light up. Hold on, I need to go for my left shoulder. There we are. So, some bit of that can go into the table uh, for, for dinner. And I've cut the salmon into pieces. Voila! And I'm just going to place them uh, on top. There we are. And that is going to go into the oven for about 30 minutes. It will depend on the thickness of your salmon. You don't want... <laughs> You don't want it undercooked, uh, so, so you want it just a very pale pink. You don't want it, a, a, you don't want it salmon pink, you want a more pale pink. Uh, so you may want to just try it when it's in the oven. It will depend on where you are, what kind of oven you have, uh, how fierce the, hot, the, the oven is, if you've got a fan assisted oven or, 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 or not. But um, your, your veggies are going to need to cook for about 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, keep, keep a look at the sand. So anyway, let me... Um, just uh, wash my hands. Hold on, if I can stop here. And while the oven is preheating, what I generally do is I, I put the potatoes on to cook because they're going to need 25 minutes, uh, depending again on the size of your, your potatoes. Or maybe, as I said, you want to do uh, rice or mashed potato. I get the potatoes on first 
and then I put the salmon in and, and basically uh, Bob's your uncle din dinner is done and then when it comes out I, I put on some uh, fresh freshly uh, chopped parsley and I, I just have to tell you I've, I've told you this wee story before when my uh, son my dear son 19 when he, when he was just small uh, he came out with a cracker one day when we were having our lunch because in, in Denmark we use a lot of like uh, chives, chopped chives on, on the top of uh, egg mayonnaise, uh, things like that. And he said to me, Mum, why is there grass on our food? He thought the chives were, was grass. So wh whenever we have kind of green stuff on, on the top of food, the family's all like, oh, but they're always like, oh, why do you have to add green stuff in? And I said, well, you know, it makes it look good. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get this in the oven and then I will show you what the finished dish looks like. Uh, and when I show you the finished dish, I, I won't be filming around here because uh, the family will be here. And you know, I, I try and respect their privacy. You won't, you won't, you won't see my, my family uh, on camera. I don't mention their names. Uh, I, you know, the, this channel is all about encouraging you to do uh, things. It's not, it's not about showing my family. Um, so I, I shall show it. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll record my little sign off and then I'll show you the finished dish. Okay, dinner's ready. Well, it's time to hang up your penny, enjoy the fruits of your labour. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Uh, and all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish should be with you. Uh, and I shall see you uh, very soon. Okay, bye for now.